Hi everyone, this is Kevin, and today I want to show you a comparison of the Strat Opt and TradeStation Walk Forward processors. What we're going to do is I'm going to run two different methods of the Walk Forward analysis. I'm going to use first the Strat Opt WFP, which is what I currently use to run Walk Forward, and then I'm going to run the TradeStation Walk Forward. I have no idea how these results are going to compare. So you're going to find out the same time I do. But I'm going to try to make the analysis as close to the same as possible. This isn't a comprehensive review of, the, of either piece of software. All I'm trying to do is run one specific case for each. So we'll see what happens. OK, so let's get started. So first what we're going to do is we're going to run with the Stratopt software and I'm going to create an optimization file for walk forward analysis with it. Okay, so here's my chart. I already have my strategy in there and it's already formulated so it works with the Stratop software. There's some things you have to do with it. But all you do is you just run an optimization and you then put it to an output file and run just run it and you'll get results. So we'll be back in a few seconds here. Okay, now we're back. The analysis had, has run. So now what we'll do is go to the next step, which is to run the actual Stratop walk forward processor. And we're going to use 500 days for the in period, 130 days for the out period, which is roughly two years in, half year out. I had to round the numbers to match what TradeStation can do because it can't do 502 days, for example, or 504 days, which would be two years. So uh, trying to accommodate it to do the same thing on both. OK, so I've fired up my Stratopt walk forward processor. You can't see the whole window here because I'm trying to keep the file size small. But all I do is load up the walk forward processor file that I just created with the optimization. I set my in period to 500 days, my out period to 130 days, and then I just hit start processor. And it runs through and creates uh, what it thinks the equity curve will be like. Now I want to verify that equity curve in TradeStation, so what I have to do is copy the walk forward results from Stratopt, and then I'll paste them in the strategy. So I just copy that. And now I'm going to take what I just copied and put it into a brand new strategy. OK, so here I have my raw strategy. And all I have to do now is put in the date, if then date statements from my parameters as they change, which I got a Stratopt. So here's the code. And now I'll just paste in the right uh, date data. And there we go. And you can see the code is varying over time with the three parameters. Now the only other thing I have to do here is I want to make sure I'm only including walk forward results in the strategy. So I want to make sure I don't start recording results until uh, the walk forward actually starts and that's happens in this case to be February 16th 2000 so all they do is I just put a big all my code around a big if then block and that will prevent any trades from happening before the walk forward period so I, then what I do Okay, so now I have the Stratopt procedure inserted into my chart, and now I'll just run it. And there you go, and we'll see what the results come out to be. And there's my performance graph. So that is how you do it with Stratopt. Now we're going to try it with TradeStation. 
So we've just created step four. We've looked at the results and created the performance report. The next step is to create the walk forward file for trade station analysis. So to do the trade station analysis, I just go back to my original file, my original strategy I should say, and I just want to optimize it with the same parameters. And I'm just going to set this to false so it doesn't write out stratopt information. And then for the type of strategy, I want to pick a walk forward an exhaustive walk forward. So we'll call this ES sample 2. And then I'm going to run this and these results I'll analyze with the walk forward analyzer. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so now once our results are done, the optimization's done, we want to go to step 6, which is running the trade station walk forward processor. And again, I'm going to use 500 days for my in period, 130 days for the out period. So to do that, I go under the view menu and select walk forward optimizer. And this is kind of what it shows. And so what I want to do first is open my file, which is sample 02. So I open that and load up the walk forward results. I go to setup and I want to set up some of my t test criteria. The only one I'm going to change from the default is to keep the walk forward efficiency, uh, the failure mark at 35%. Uh, I'd read somewhere that's a good criteria to use. Otherwise, I'm going to use the existing criteria. So we just hit OK. OK. So um, we also want to look at the optimization settings we're using. <clears throat> now, there's a bunch of different ways to do this here. Uh, you can do this cluster analysis, uh, which kind of feels like optimization to me. But what I did was I unchecked this box that's normally checked. And then what I did was I can go down here and actually enter the values that I want to use. So I want to do a cluster analysis, but centered around 500 and 130. So that means I would go from 470 to 530 in increments of 30. And also, for the out of sample, 100 to 160 bars with 30. So I just wanted to see what the cluster analysis does, plus or minus 30 bars around that midpoint. So the middle of that whole analysis that you'll see in a second is actually the 500 130 that I want. So we hit OK and then we just say let's do the cluster analysis. And it says it's less than a thousand tests and it suggests more. I don't know how good that suggestion that is. But now it's running and I'll come back once it's all finished. OK, so here's the results. It actually says the 500 130 day case that we just ran with Stratop actually failed this criteria and you can actually click on it um, I think and, and figure out why it passed but or failed but um, in this case uh, we don't have to worry about we won't worry about that I don't know how accurate or uh, good this pass fail criteria is because I've never used this before so I've never correlated it to ongoing performance Maybe down the road, that's something I'll take a look at. But if you look, if you click on the out of sample, you can see how the inputs change with time. Now, the tough part about it with Stratopt, we could just copy it, and it already did the code for us. Now, with TradeStation, uh, we're actually going to have to do the code by hand and type in all these dates and all these values. Now, you could make a a spreadsheet that would uh, kind of dissect this, uh, which is probably the best thing to do if you're going to use it long term. But for this, we'll just have to kind of do it by hand, uh, which is kind of a pain. So for this video, I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to do the last uh, year or so, and then uh, or the last couple of years, and then that way we'll be able to compare results over a couple of years. 
Okay, so if I look at just the last four steps of this out of sample, it gives me the dates and also the input values to use. So what I do is I just put those in a new strategy, and you can see I put the date, start date, end date, and then the values. And I can tell you from looking at the Stratop procedure that it's identical except for this one. Uh, the Stratop procedure actually has exit bars equal to 7. So this is the trade station version. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at both of these and then compare them and see how they look. Okay, since I didn't put the whole walk forward history in, I'm just going to show you the results for 2013, 14, and the first part of 2015. So first we'll run the original Stratopt, or the uh, Stratopt results that we did. There we go. And since that period of time, it looks like it's about a break even. Um, the first trade over here is in the beginning of 2013. So about 110 trades, 112 trades, and close to zero net profit. That's Stratopt. How does the TS version look? It should be pretty close to the same. There'll be a few trades in the, the first six month period that are different. And you can see it, it does look different and actually overall it comes out to be a little bit better a few less trades um, but more or less they're the same they're the same kind of shape where they they're down initially and start coming up later this is probably typical of what you see when you run the walk forward processor with trade station versus stratopt even though the in and out periods were the same it's probably a different calculation method and some different assumptions built in so sometimes you'll get some differences. So that's a comparison of the two methods. And as you can see, you can use the trade station walk forward to get close to the results that you get with Stratop. Now I use Stratop because I've been using it for years, long before trade station had their walk forward processor. I feel comfortable with it. I can I can use it and I'm going to continue to use it. But if you want to use the trade station walk forward processor, uh, you should get pretty comparable results. You won't get the exact same results, but you should get results that are near to what I get. And so that's good to know. So with that, I want you to send in questions you might have to kdavy at kgatradingsystems.com. And I want to thank you for listening and w uh, watching this video. And um, I hope all your walk forward analysis works out well. Thanks.